What is very important when uh, performing necropsies is to make a good recording of all the findings you have. Therefore, an appropriate necropsy form is essential uh, before you start uh, performing your necropsy. In the necropsy form, you identify the flock you're uh, assessing and also make sure that all the organs that you want to assess are mentioned on the form so you don't miss one of them. When we start to perform a necropsy, at first we will check the bird externally. We will check the condition of the feathers, the condition of the skin, to see if there are any bruises or scratches, the comb, the wattles, the ear, the eyes, the beak, the condition of the nares. We also will check the condition of the footpads to see if there are some infections and how clean they are. Next to that, very importantly, we will check the condition of the joints to see if there is any swelling or abnormal contents in the joints. In the meantime, all aspects are noted on a necropsy form. So when we uh, open the chicken, we'll make a small incision just under the sternum and we open the cavity of the bird. Some organs become visible immediately, such as the liver and also the gizzard. Also we can see, just below the liver, we can see the heart. Thereafter, we'll take out the whole intestinal tract and cut just cranial of what we call the proventriculus in order to separate the intestinal package from the rest of the organs. In order to take proper sampling, we will separate organs such as liver and place them separately in a tray so that we can take samples in optimal conditions. We do the same for the spleen. In order to keep the bird nice flat, we pop out the femoral heads from the joints so that the bird stays nice and flat. We can also cut some of the ribs in order to give us more space. In this way, we get a really good picture of the other internal organs. You can clearly see the heart with the heart sac. Also, you can very clearly see the nice and clean air sacs in this bird. And below this air sacs, you can also see the lungs, which in normal conditions should be pink. Further down the bird, you can see the kidneys. The kidneys should not be swollen, but in some uh, disease conditions they can have a swollen aspect or you can even see urates in the kidneys. Another very important organ in chickens is what we call the bursa of Fabricius. The bursa of Fabricius is an immunity organ and a disease called Gumboro disease can destroy the immune system by invading this organ. You can also see the remnants of oviducts of the bird, so indicating that this bird is a female bird. We have been able to look at the air sacs and the lungs, but we will also check the beak and also the trachea. The trachea can be found back by cutting the beak in this way and then transversely opening the trachea to check if the slime in the trachea and also to evaluate the inflammation status of the trachea, the so-called tracheitis, for instance, 
when we have outbreaks of ILT. In the meantime, we can also assess the tongue and the oesophagus to see if there's some erosions or if the tip of the tongue has um, necrosis, which could be due to some acid products in the drinking water or some other uh, problems. The bursa, as an important immune organ, can be assessed in different ways. The first one is the size of the bursa. Next to that, we can check if on the bursa we see a gelatinous membrane indicating a case of gumro or not. And when we open the gut, uh, the bursa, it should be completely whitish without any signs of inflammation or other lesions. When we have suspicion of leg problems, we will also evaluate the joints by cutting the joints and assessing the number of fluids inside and also if there's contamination with bacteria by evaluating the clarity of the joint fluid.